memorable events. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forties! This is a question for me, Forty. Look at this image of a famous historical event. What event is this? That's right! I've got to go ride some of the rides while I'm here! See you later! Probably geography. Here comes the coolest screen in town. It's Forty the Smart Boys. Hiya, everybody. I'm Forty. Take a look at this photo from my trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. Um, actually, I was thinking I could be the one to ask this question. Uh, no, no. Come look at this Italy photo! This is a picture of a vineyard! What is being grown here? Oh, you're driving me insane! <laughs> you stop that! I've been Forty the Smart Board! See you next time! It's lit, fam! Alas, poor Yorick! Uh, line? <laughs> Artistic integrity. Primary colors. Colors you can mix together to get any other color. If you had some spotlights and wanted to be able to mix together every color you could think of, what colors of light would you need? Dancing a hot dog! Hey, guy, get out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? But that's a guy. It's just a man and a live being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character, pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's got to be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. 
Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing hot dog again. What are you still doing here? Ben and a nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy, a dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. What? It's just the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one to one and I am just not getting it. Right? And then a nephew? Is that your name? The middle nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. <sighs> this dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. You're this episode's Grand Champion! That's another episode of Shovel Wears the Ring Game! Now it's time to say something interesting before I tell you this episode's sponsor. Hmm. This episode is sponsored by the good folks at Arkinian's Home Appliances. Order before dinner and they'll ship it in the morning. From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new favorite show. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game. He's the star of the show, and he signs my paycheck. It's the Dancing Banana. Science rules. 
I'm on the roller coaster here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. As we go uphill, we're building a bunch of potential energy. Oh, it's so high. What type of energy is that converted to as we start to roll down here? Artistic integrity. When working in computer graphics, artists sometimes unwrap the sides of a character or object to project additional detail and color onto it using an image called a texture. What is this process called? What's the word? <laughs> the Friendly Burger Little Friends Meal. Except for the toy, because I want the toy, so I'm keeping it. It came with apple slices, though, and I don't really like apple slices, so you can have those. Yeah. What is the term used to describe a medical treatment or substance with no actual therapeutic value? Hey, that works for me. What's the word? What's the word to describe the way a given language is used in a specific region or country? Car battery. Flags of the world. Oh, oh, oh no, I fell asleep on a train somewhere in Europe. I must be in an entirely different country than I was when I boarded. Wait, I see a flag outside. It's got three vertical stripes. A black stripe on the left, then a yellow stripe in the middle, and then a red stripe on the right. Help! What country am I in? Zoo Pals! <laughs> oh. 
Let's bring out a special guest to ask the next question. It's Forty the Smart Board. Settle down, everybody. It's just me, Forty the Smart Board. Here's your question. Look at this beluga whale. It's got a funny little bump on its head that helps it find food and navigate using echolocation. What is that called? <laughs> Another question down. See you all later. What's the word? But on the internet second hand, you could win this pair of baby shoes. Someone was just selling these online. Can you believe it? The listing just said, for sale, baby shoes, never worn. <laughs> wow. Wow. Which of these is an antonym of the word arbitrary? <laughs> ha! Lucky guess! Math zone. Train A leaves New York City at 3 p.m., headed southbound towards Washington, D.C. Another train, train B, leaves Miami, Florida at 4.30 p.m. and heads north on the same line. Assuming train A is moving at 75 miles per hour and train B is moving at 86 miles per hour, if both trains get exponentially faster every 15 and a quarter minutes as long as they're within U.S. states that border the Pacific Ocean, the weather conditions are fair within three miles of train A and it's not a leap year or after 7 p.m. on a weeknight, and train B isn't currently traveling through a town with no name, what is 150 divided by 5? Memorable events. How many years did George Washington serve as the President of the United States of America? <laughs> you stop that. Monumental landmarks.
Say I wanted to go back in time and see the Statue of Liberty while it was first being constructed. You know, before it turned all green. Where would I need to travel once I was in the past in order to see it while it was first being built? Not the pedestal, mind you, just the statue itself, just in case somebody wants to be a smart aleck. Not from my perspective. <laughs> Talking about states. <laughs> Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the Union? New from Lazy, it's the do-it-yourself obby kit. With over one variety of rectangular obstacles that may or may not be supposed to be lava, anyone can build their own obby without having to think about actual level design or matching obstacles to the theme for even one fraction of a second. Speaking of which, you should play my obby sometime. I worked really hard on it, you know. <laughs> Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! Would you look at that? We made it to the end of the episode with minimal casualties. I'd call that a successful game show taping. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? This episode is sponsored by InoClean. Top of the line, consumer grade cleaning supplies that let you clean on the level of a professional. I know clean. You clean it up.